m 0 fxb ham take welcome to my channel yesu ft 2d and 1d actually does have a serial cable that you can buy that allows you to use the the gps that you get on your ft 2d here as gps for your ft 991 now i've already got a setup a gps antenna a powered gps GPS antenna that will give me GPS on the 991. I've made many videos on that. So now we're going to try and, and get this working. Now, obviously, we need a GPS connection on our FT2 as well to, you know, for it to have a GPS lock. Let me show you the cable. So, yeah, as, as all cables, when you buy cables for Ham Radio, they're not cheap. So it's under £30, but not a lot, not a lot less. So, yeah, not happy about that. But it looks like we're going to have some fun with this and possibly program our memory channels as well. So this is what comes in the box. And you do get some ferrite rings, which will kind of, they just clip on. As you can see, we'll put one at each end. I didn't even know it included them, so that's good. Less problems with interference, RF interference. So I just clip them on like so. I mean, you know, I've had the, get that clip correctly later. So I've had the FT2 for years and, you know, you think, well, why haven't I sold it? You know, I've got the FT5, why why haven't I sold it? I just really like using it. And for me, if I sell it, I can never use it again ever. And to have something for my whole life that I can use, that I really enjoy the interaction with, which I do, then it's a no brainer for me just to keep it. So one end goes into the, let's have a look here, into the side here. I've used these. It's a bit like an SCU cable. And it does actually say you can do firmware with it. But it's got a serial connection. And it's just, I am interested to know. So one end is like this. And you'd normally plug it into your PC. Now, if you haven't got this connection on your PT, you PC, you can buy one of these like converters look if I go like so and these are only five pound I'll put a link in the description so you plug it in like so and effectively we 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 should have now have a serial connection but to USB to my PC and that's showing there look this is the free software we get the ADMS 8 and it's asking me to hit the send so to get it into clone mode, I don't know this is going to work, I'm just trying it out just for the first time. Hold down DSB and turn, down, turn on the radio. Don't let go. And then it's given me the option to send. So I'll just do it. I'll just click send. You can see send there. Do I touch it here? Try it again. Oh, I had to tap it a few times, it's beeping. So I don't know if that's working, but the screen has changed and it is saying an error. But it could be that that cable's no good. It might just want the cable that comes in the box for the ADMS. It might work better on the... Well, I literally just got this cable. I'm tapping it a few times. So what I'm gonna do is play around, learn the cable, See if I can get the GPS showing on my 991. Uh, as I learn, I'll show you. But you can see there's an error with this particular cable. But we'll keep playing around. Bye for now, 73.